All right, good morning, everybody. And this is another round of coffee and questions. And I got an email from a viewer or somebody that came across my name and asked me, is there a way that they could make a wall mount kind of steel bracket to set a benchtop drill press on? And I said, well, let me take a look. And I thought I'd do a short video for anybody else that's interested. I'm going to change the picture. We'll get right into it. I'll show you a real basic idea. I don't like to do things that are super complex for people because it's hard to visualize sometimes what I'm talking about. But, you know, picture's worth a thousand words, like people say. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to throw up a picture. Let's get right into the discussion. And this may work for you if you've got a similar situation where you want to take a bench top drill press and kind of make it like a freestanding one or close to it. And you just didn't spend the money and you're trying to figure out how can I make something and put it up on the wall, kind of. I'll change the picture now, and let's get right into the discussion. Give me just a second. Okay, let's start by taking a look at the one over on the right. Now, I think this is a good idea. He might have used, like, quarter-inch, you know, plate steel or something like that to make this. My caution here is you better have, in back of that wall, I mean, a good stud structure or something there, I mean, to hold this, because it's going to be quite a bit of weight. And I'm not sure what he's got in back of that wall, but it looks like he's probably got three lag bolts that are holding it in. And, you know, it's kind of narrow. It works. It's functional. It's a good idea. I mean, what you might want to do so that you don't have to tear into the wall to add additional support before doing this is maybe if you went stud to stud like they did in the picture up here on the left, and even if you used plate steel like over here on the right, you made it longer so that you could attach to each stud, then you wouldn't need to worry about tearing into the wall and adding additional support to it. And then you could put more lag bolts than just two and really secure the heck out of it before you put this bench top uh, drill press up on there because of the weight. That's one consideration. Um, another one that may be easier to do is the one over here on the left where this guy took just some strap steel. Um, you can get it out at any steel supply place. It's fairly cheap and you can get tube steel and you can make something similar to this. Now, if I was doing it instead of that round one, you know, in the front, I would use square tube steel and go all the way across right to left in the front in the back and put one in the middle. Then you can put a piece of plate steel on top of it. And if you use this similar design, you'd have a good sturdy drill press because those straps, you can see where he's got the holes in them, you know, would line up on each stud on the wall and you can actually put more lag bolts into them and really secure the daylights out of them. So in terms of securing to the wall, I think that this is a better design and a better approach to solving that problem. But I do like the thick steel over here on the far right. He made it really narrow and small, just enough for his base, probably because he didn't want to take up that much room on his wall. That's a good idea too, but like I said, the caution is in securing, in securing it rather to the wall that, you know, you want to be careful. You want that support behind the wall, but it's a good idea. It gets your drill press up off of the workbench. It gives you almost like a standing drill press, but it, you know, it's a space saver, I guess, for one. The other thing is you can get it up to the height that you want, depending on how tall you are. And, you know, maybe it comes in a little bit handier for you. So it's a nice tip that you can consider, you know, if you want to do something like this out in your shop. But let's take a look at the one over here on the left before we wrap up the video and see if there's any questions. The one question um, on the one over here on the left is, well, this guy's using bolts and he's using all this stuff. I go, well, I only put it up here for a design idea for you. If you, let's go over it one more time. If you use that strap steel, you drill these holes in it. That's where your lag bolts, when you hold it up to the wall, it'll be stud to stud, and you can put your lag bolts in. The rest of this you can make out of inexpensive tube steel that you can get out at any steel supplier. I always encourage people, ask them if they have a cutoff section. That section is where you don't, you know, you don't have to buy full lengths of steel. They actually, from other projects, you know, have like, it's almost like a scrap pile. But they have it all segregated out at the one that I go to, and you just walk along, it's on a row and just take a look, and if there's any scrap steel there, they sell it to you. Pretty much at the same price as the other steel. Sometimes, if it's been sitting there a while, they give me a pretty good size discount because they just want to get rid of it. So it doesn't hurt to look there first. You'll save quite a bit of money rather than buy 10 and 20 foot lengths. But again, up above, you know, use the square tube steel. I think it's a decent design idea. It's just that that round piece in the front that's got the bolts, just forget it. I only threw it up here 
to give you an idea of what you could do by welding rather than this bolt thing. I mean, you just go right to left and you put one in the front, one in the very back, put one in the middle. That gives you great support. Then you can put a nice thick, maybe quarter inch or so piece of plate steel or whatever they have out there. And you put that on there and it becomes an incredible base. Then set your drill press, your uh, bench top drill press up on it. You can mark your holes, you secure it to that base, and then you're done. And it's a very simple design. It's not over complex where you need like a lot of tools. You can use basic tools. Use a four and a half inch angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and you have a way to weld you're pretty much home free. I mean, and it's a nice idea. Okay, not a whole lot of questions on here. Um, just taking a look before we wrap this up. Give me just a sec. And I'm not seeing anything, uh, you know, really in the way of questions, so. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wrap this up. The lag bolts, the steel, like I said, it's all inexpensive stuff. You don't have to use tube steel if you had wrought iron from an old bed frame. It's whatever you got. You can still make this project out of those materials. These pictures are just to give you design ideas. I mean, you can take a look at these and you can, like I said, elaborate them. You can make the bases as long as you want. You can make it so it's much wider, so you've got shelf space for drill bits and stuff. Your design is whatever you want to do, but I hope this gives you some ideas. Maybe it motivates you to get out of the shop, play around, and see what you could come up with. I'm the Home Handyman. I hope you folks click subscribe, keep following me. I will always try to get right to the point on the videos, and hopefully you enjoy them. You folks have a good day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.